hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so in this video i'm going to cover two stories so the first story is about uh, the only of if a lot of you if you don't know who is only is a king in the yoruba side of nigeria right so yoruba is one of the tribes in nigeria so uh, this is his ex-wife and uh, she would have been his uh, third wife or fourth wife she was his third wife i think if i'm mistaken correct me guys and uh, the marriage broke up and he has always married like a, a it has always been a monopoly monopoly <laughs> sorry it has always been a monogamous uh, marriage right he married one he broke up after many years and brought, married another one and then married this one the third one and they broke up and after they broke up he went on a marriage uh, uh, rampage that's the word i think about seven wives like within two or three months he just married a lot a lot a lot a lot of women at the same time so apparently the tradition as some people are saying oh i mean i'm not that part of nigeria so if i make mistake those that are from there can correct me but this is what some people that are from that side of nigeria are saying that that any wife that he has left this uh, naomi i'm speaking about apparently there's a lot of rumors there's always rumor that oh she's about to get married to whatever currently there's a story that she's about to get married and i don't know if that's true it's only a rumor so i leave that but i want to speak about people that said she cannot remarry that if she remarries this will happen she has no traditionally you know she's not allowed to remarry and i'm asking this question so she cannot remarry but the man can marry seven wives since since they broke up he can marry seven different women and have seven different wives but the wife that he is no longer married to has no right to find love and move on remarry or stuff it's not the king that said it is not the only that said it all i'm going by what people are saying is that what people are trying to explain how does that even i don't understand how and why the man can move on but the woman cannot move on and they say it's their tradition if a tradition is so partial is it okay to hold on to a tradition like that is it really i don't know seriously i don't know what the justification is that a man can move on but a woman can't let me say this though that we say our mothers before us i'm sorry in their time a lot of them had no voice they couldn't speak they had no rights Basically, they had to go by a lot of traditions that were oppressive to them and their lives. If a lot of them, I can bet you that a lot of our foremothers, if they were to have another chance to come back, I bet you that a lot of them will live a life that is different. Because like my Igbo language we say, Wabufumbia. Nobody should have to live a, a less life, if I can put it like that, because of a, a tradition. Especially when it is not balanced between men and women. Nobody should have this one journey of life. This uh, Ijiwa, I translated it so directly. This journey of life. There's no reason why somebody shouldn't actually enjoy it. And actually live it. Don't just exist, but live. So, I, I don't know. Those of you that understand that culture, please come and explain to us. Let us learn from, you know. Let us, not even learn, but let us actually understand the story or the tradition. Understand where the tradition is coming from i don't know what your opinions are about that please feel free to share it so the other story then is uh yule duche if you don't know yule duche is a nigerian actor he was married for about 17 years there was a rumor he was having an affair and uh, the next thing there was a rumor that, that the person he was having an affair with was pregnant and once the next day he came, next thing he came out and just announced it and said meet my second wife and my new uh, child and uh, the whole internet went crazy uh, you know uh, people were like Apparently, the first wife did not even know he went and got married. The first wife was not aware and all of that. So there was hoopla lie about it. So the same now he's trying. He was trying to do polygamy. I always like to let people that do not know to know, so they can follow the rest of us that know it in the story. So then the first wife says she's not going to be part of a polygamy. I didn't marry into polygamy. I cannot be forced into polygamy. Long story short, like I always say, the polygamy was not polygamy. No, what happened there about a month and a half ago or something like that? Maybe. Mm, maximum two months the first son from his marriage with his first wife lost his life suddenly they said he was playing football he fell down and that was it he was gone and uh, since then the wife has not come back on the internet so apparently um, a nollywood actor decided to check up on her he said he rang her and she answered let me read to you guys what uh, he shared 
because I know a lot of people are always in my comment section and saying they are praying for her and all of that. Let me just read it to you guys. Uh, it's a bit of an update, you know, something like that, if I can put it that way. So this actor is called uh, Ben Sin Okonkwo. So he said, Queen Main Nations, remember I promised to be checking on our queen. So I just called her now and she picked the call and I asked her again if she's fine. Uh, she said she's okay. And I told her when she's coming back on the gram that she will be missed. I think meant to say I asked her. There's no full stop, no comma, I'm sorry. And she said soon that she's getting better and will be with us soon. Told her about your daily prayers and she was so touched and appreciates and said God will bless you all. Okay, so he basically, you know, shared that update uh because a lot of people are like has been going on for in the recent times so and people are like i hope she's okay you know she's trying to encourage her to stay strong and you know there are a massive group of people that are actually like rooting for her and they feel like the man has done her wrong and uh, they you know like that sympathy kind of a thing because of the way the husband has been going about and all of that let me actually just say that i, I understand people's concerns and stuff like that but i want to say that if she even chooses never to come back ever again on the internet that should actually be okay. I know people love her and they, con and they are concerned and all of that, but I think people should bear it in mind that recovering or getting back on her feet does not necessarily have to do with coming back on the internet. She may not come back, but she has recovered. She may decide to stay away completely, but she's okay. Do you know what I mean? She can choose whatever. She can, you understand? She can choose that, you know, I'm, I'm not doing social media anymore. I'm not doing Instagram anymore and all of that. And her lovers should be happy regardless whatever option she chooses because let me tell you there's some women that may choose that you know what this thing the husband is doing is so embarrassing that they say you know what let me just stay away from the social media let me just i'm just saying she can choose whatever i'm simply saying let me make sure i make myself clear what i'm saying is this recovering is not until she comes back on the internet we can say she has recovered you get my point and then the other area i want to address is you know there are these different sides of the camp People that feel like until she gets her husband back, then she has won. I don't feel like that. You understand? Because let me tell you, there are some women that would even choose not to ever have him back. Even if he came back and apologized. There are some women that can say, you know what? You know, that's fine. You apologized. You, um, you know, you were sorry. All of that. That's fine. But I don't want to be with you again. So women can do that. And she can, that can still be a winning. Because I have come to realize that there's a lot of Nigerians that still feel like until you leaves, um, what's her name, um, leaves uh, Judy and comes back to his wife, until then, you know, that is when they can now say, yes, yeah, May has been victorious. But there are some women that may look at their husband that has been with somebody else and all of these things and, and, and decide that never again, I can't have this person back. So everybody's way of reasoning is different. How people feel and how they see things, they are different. There's a woman that can be like, after all of this, I'm like, when they see such a man, they'll be like, all I think about when I see him now is Judy. I can't even imagine being with him. It did happen. It did happen. So these people that feel like take him back from Judy and go hand him back over to, to me, that is when, you know, da, 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 da. you understand. But bottom line, at the end of the day, we are not the ones that will decide. For me, what happiness means, what victory means, what moving on is, you understand? We're not the one to decide, but I don't know what your opinion is. I actually made a post about it and I said, you know, if he was to come back, let me read it to you guys word for word. There was actually a picture that I saw, you know, Nigerians and social media. So people went and made a picture of him on his knees and said, and they captured it and claimed. They captioned it and claimed that, uh, Yule has come to beg and Yule is sorry and all of that. They made that story up because it's not true. But I used that picture and I made the post. Let me read. Let me find the post. The post. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> this is the picture, right? With him on his knees. But I, um, okay. Then I captioned it. I said, if Yule Edition should leave Judy and goes on his knees to beg me to accept him back. I said, one, should she take him back? And I said, two, she should she reject him and send him back to Judy? That was the thing I posted. Let me ask, ask it here as well. What are your opinions? At the end of the day, is May's life, May's decision, whatever. But I want to know what your opinions are about that. So, two videos. The only of you fair and the um, Queen Naomi, you know, whether, you know, Queen Naomi, what are your opinions about the idea that she has no right to remarry, but the only can marry for uh, seven wives? Uh, I, the, 
can marry me with whatever number of wife he wants, but she cannot. I don't know what your opinions are. So I don't know what your opinions are about these two questions. As always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.